Oh. Hey guys, it's me. Um, I know I was going to do my first haul video for uh, 2012, but decided against it for right now. Wanted to wait to have some more stuff besides just the one uh, object I got for my haul video. So, um, no, I know this is my second video this week, but I just got a lot on my mind right now. Um, it's just, it's, I have a lot of stress right now in my life, again, and drama, again. Now the, um, I'm moving back to my hometown, hopefully by the end of the month. My family, on the other hand, since my, me and my roommates are being forced to move out, uh, like, I need to move into a shelter. Yeah, a shelter. I'm like, uh, I can't do that. I'm a recovering addict. I need uh, people that I know for a fact um, are clean. I don't need to be around people that are, there's one particular shelter in the town I was raised in as prostitutes, drug dealers, uh, druggies in this shelter. I do not need it. Um, I mean, I cannot get that through my family's head. My family has money, and, well, it's kind of 50-50 in my family. It's like one part of the family has money, the other part doesn't. The part that does not have money to their name will give you the shirts off their back. The part of the family that does have money, uh, no, no, we can't help you. You have to go to a shelter while one family member has a three-bedroom home, and it's just turned her husband. Yeah, and now it's like, wait, I'm your niece. I'm related to you. I'm your niece. You have a three-bedroom home, but you can't let me stay there until I can find me a place. And it hurts. And it's like, it, it makes me sad that my family is like this because it's like, I, I, I my mom raised me to say, to help people if I had it to help them and it's like it hurts because it's like they don't want to help anybody but themselves and I don't know what to do with my family my aunt her being the person she is I know she's an I know she has my interest in, best interest in heart but it's to the simple fact of she wants to put me in a situation where Knowing I'm a recovering addict is not the healthiest for me. And that hurts. And I don't know what to do because it's like, it's, it's, bad, it's sad that they're like this. And it's like my grandparents, my aunts, I like, go to the shelter, call them up. Do the paperwork and just move into it. We don't want to help you. And it's like I need I, I can't be in that situation knowing I could even though I have been clean and sober since I was sixteen, that they want to put me in back to that situation where I could slip and go back into being an addict again. And that hurts. Because it's like I, I've been clean for almost 15 years now, and it's like, you know, it will be 16 years next year, so it's been 15 years that I've been clean, and they want to put me in a situation that I could slip, I could mess up, and I could, I could become an addict again. I don't need to be in that situation, and I cannot get it through their head. And they're like, oh, you're, you're recovered. No, once an addict, always an addict. Once recovered, always recovering. And I cannot get that through their head. That's like, I'm like, seriously? I really? That's my family. My friends, some of my friends, will help me look for a place and stuff like that. My family will not do it. That's like, you know, you 
it's the same of uh, you can't pick your family, but you can pick your friends. Well, it's getting to the point where my family is my fr my family is becoming my my friends are becoming my family. My family, I if I can't if I don't talk to them, I'm better off because it's my little brother is not talking to me because I'm not babying them. My grandparents are doing the same way. You need to do this. You need to do that. Move into this. Move into the shelter. I have designer stuff that I've I've had for a while. I like. I don't want my stuff stolen. I don't want my electronics, my my like my digital camera, my laptop, my phone stolen. I don't want my shoes. I paid money, you know, my shoes stolen because someone wants to borrow my shoes and never return them. I don't want my makeup I spent decent money on stolen, and I cannot get that through their head. It's like, I have stuff I don't want stolen if I'm at the wrong place at the wrong time because this shelter is on the bad side of the town I was, the town I was raised on. And it's like, families are supposed to help each other, not send them off to flipping shelter. And it pisses me off that, oh, this is my niece, or this is my granddaughter, or this is my cousin. Oh, let's just send you here. Oh, I'm sorry that you went through a divorce. I'm sorry that you you went through a difficult time with your ex-husband. I'm sorry that you're you were staying on a friend's couch since August. But oh, since you're having to move now and move back into your hometown, instead of us opening up our homes for you, we are going to send you to a shelter. So much for family. You know what, to my so-called family, you, you, my family, if you see in this video, kiss my ass. Kiss my ass. Because family is not supposed to send someone off to a fucking shelter. They're supposed to open their homes for family that are struggling. Not send them off, oh, out of sight, out of mind bullshit. It's bullshit. I know I usually don't cuss in my videos, but enough is fucking enough. I hope y'all that claim to be my blood relatives have a nice fucking life because I do not need you. Bye bye. Okay, to my babies, I love you all. I hope you have a great weekend. My next video, I will be in a better mood. Hopefully, hopefully be in a better mood and not be as stressed out as you can tell my face I am usually rosy cheeked. My whole face is red because my blood pressure is raised because my family is so flippin' fucking negative. But I love you babies. Have a great weekend and I'll talk to you soon.